What's up, y'all? This is Rom coming back at you with yet another video. Car video. <laughs> yeah. Most most players don't look like models. I wanted to talk on that because, you know, you got a whole group of men out there thinking you got to look like some fashion model or get some uh, women out here. That's not the case in the real world. But before I get into that, because I might get into a little bit of a rant, just a little bit. But before I even go there, uh, medical update. I had my uh, G tube replaced yesterday. Because remember when I had lost all that weight for the people who know, and I got something to say about that. For the people who've known about the stroke, they saw the weight loss. And, you know, a lot of people thought it was had to do with the sickness. But as I said in a video, Said no, nah, just couldn't eat. I mean, difficulty swallow, dysphagia. So I had to like just ingest liquids through a G tube, and that was like the thing walking around with that joint on, because you know I had to take care of it. I had to sleep on my back most of the time on my side, so I had to be careful how I was sleeping, because it, it was actually a second G tube. The first one came out. I had to go to the emergency room doctors they were like shoot you should have got in here sooner and stuff the whole would have closed up on his own yeah but i had that joint removed yesterday i thought it'd be an operation like to get it put in you know the doctor he was padded up brother he was padded up everything he had about four nurses in there i was like damn just put this thing in i thought i was gonna get the same thing to take it out Doctor just had me sit up on this thing, lay back, one of those, you know, things they got in their offices. Shoot, next thing I know, I ain't even feel him take it out. I thought he was just looking at it. He was like getting some uh, bandages to put on it. I was like, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's out. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I ain't feel shit. So, but that was a big thing because that was always a reminder. That was always a reminder of what had happened. Damn, I went the wrong way. Anyway, right? So, you know, that's it. So, just a quick medical thing. And just real quick, it's kind of funny because you still get somebody trying to say, oh, you don't look like you don't this. They ain't my regular, they ain't my regular riders. Because my regular supporters, the people really, like, in the family, really part of ROM Nation, Body Game Nation, knew about my stroke back in October. So, you know. Be praising and stuff. Say, yeah, you getting better. So, I already know. So, it's like the motherfuckers who ain't on on, on any real shit. They know them right away. Ha, ha, ha. Anyway, back to the main thing. Yeah, most players don't look like models. Now, I know a few models who are players. But, you know, let's be real. A lot of, you know, a lot of those male models really don't like women anyway. Let's just be keep it a buck. Nah, but if you think about real players, right? Real players, they might not stand out like that physically. I mean, yeah, you're going to get like some model type or maybe a alpha showpiece type. Shout out Cousin t Talk. You know, you get those guys who are gigolos and strippers on that level and stuff. But if you look at most players, yeah, they might have a good body build, but... You know, you ain't going, they ain't going to make any money with their looks or anything. You know, shit, some of them might be even USPs, ugly, sexy players. Once again, shout out Cousin T Talk. You know, but here's the thing, though. They getting women. Now, let me be clear on it, because every now and then I get somebody like, oh, you don't know what's going on out here. I got some one thing to say to them. Fuck them. I see I'm driving someplace. Apparently, I must be someplace. I'm not shit. Sometimes I'll be going into Baltimore and stuff. That's good. By many metrics, considered the worst, one of the worst cities in America. And I go through there like it's peace. So, which anybody who got a problem talking about whatever, whether I'm out here, what street you from? Be some little punk ass motherfucker, dork motherfucker who know you don't go out. Now, I'm out here. Plus, if you talk about players, one thing about players, like, I ain't one of these dorks that be in their basement and shit, don't go out, don't have friends and shit. 
I just got play. I know players across the planet. Either knew them or just doing consultations and stuff and shit. They be calling and want to know how to manage their women better. You know, and then the ones I know, like actual players, like people who can hit me up private, like when I had the stroke, they could text me direct. They know the game. These dudes don't be looking like no models or anything like that. You know, and then when I meet some, when I'm out and about, oh yeah, real quick, let me shout out brother Derek. He saw me out, I was just in a store, you know, Barnes and Noble, you know I love a bookstore. He was looking at a magazine over, like, well, I was had to go over there and see if they had something. He said, hey, ain't you Ron Wills? It's like, yeah. I get that a lot. There's a lot of people know me, so people see me out. I don't I ain't like you get these little bitch ass dorks. Yeah, I said bitch ass dorks and shit. Don't know what the fuck. Don't know who I be talking to. And they come with the same corny ass shit too. Same corny ass shit. Well, it might have been in your generation. Dude, don't project your little loser ass onto me. I'm out. Yeah. I had a stroke. In fact, shit. What I did, one of the first videos I did, I said, shoot, when I was in uh, rehab, my first re my first roommate, that was an old player. Had a walk and everything, straight player, a couple more in that motherfucker. Because I'm going to tell you what with the game. First of all, it really is about charisma. People say mouthpiece, but even that, you got to have, uh, have some charisma about it. It's about connecting with the women. That's really all it is. That's really all it is. If you look good and uh, all that other stuff, you dress well, you look good, all that stuff, which is very important, all that really is is bait. That get them over there. But if you ain't talking about shit, they be like, he was fine till he opened his mouth. They say it. Seriously, all it is is connection. You just talk talk to the women. Hell, sex workers will tell you that. They'll say shit, just talk to them. That's really, seriously, if you look at a player, yeah, they'll have, if they smart, they'll have a good bait. But the main thing is a connection. And shit, there's some players out there, shoot. They'll be, shoot, even their own friends call them homely. Homely? You know, I can, I can talk about a game all day. These motherfuckers won't set foot in the gym. But they'll get the women just because they got the charisma. That charisma is powerful. Because that's really, that's really, if you're really going to look at what sets the players apart, they just got charisma. They got social skills. They know how to interact. Because what good is it if you looking all good, but you acting funky? Or, you know, you ain't talking to the women. Because, yes, women will approach some men, but even when they approach, they're going to do it in a passive way. They ain't going to be direct about it. They ain't going to say you's a big fine man Won't you stick that thing in With the overwhelming majority of men You might have a few men like that But most guys still got to do work Even if you talk about choosing signals and stuff They get the signal You still got to approach And let me be clear Yeah they handing it to you Basically they give you a softball opening If you don't pick up on it They probably be like Damn he ain't picking up on it that's just some real talk on this shit. Let me pull over to this motherfucker. This motherfucker behind me on it in a hurry. Nice, nice ride though. But uh, shit. Nah, you gotta talk to the women. If you look at, and that's the one thing like the real players gonna have in common. You talk to any of them, or you see them, or you're around them, they just know how to connect. They just got that charisma. Now, if you talk about the looks and all of that, hey, that's great if you got it, but you got to know how to use it. And these guys, regardless of what they look like, like they just know how to use it. They know how to holler. Shout out Holler Monster. You know who it is. You know who he is. You know, just talk to them. That's shoot. That's really all shoot. Women, you can get them just on that communication, and you don't even have to hit any like lines or anything like that. What? In fact, you come off as corny. You can have a regular conversation. She ready to go to the mo mo motel or something. 
Now, let me be clear. It's still important you have a good base. You don't want to look totally whack. But if you look at the average player, the average ones, the ones I've known personally, and I'm basing this on ones I've known, the ones I've known in the past, the ones I know now, the majority of them, they just, no, all of them, really, they have just some kind of bait. They have some kind of bait. It could be the, hey, you might have a few model faces got really a handsome face and shit. But there's something else with that you still got to have. I'm going to get into that in a second. Or they got the body, which the most common thing is the body. Or they dress well, they got some style, got that drip fit, all of that. How they walk. But, like I said, you get some guys and the women might say they're handsome, but man, they don't give off that sex appeal. You get a lot of nice guys, guys who women will say, oh yeah, he handsome, but it's like them calling their brother handsome or something. Or you got some guys who are handsome, but they don't come off as masculine. Or women be looking at all of that. Because what good is being masculine, but you coming off as effeminate? You know? Or you coming off as corny or some shit. But see the players, they're gonna have what it takes to get to get the woman's attention or be able to talk to her, just have a regular conversation. Because it's still scary. It's scary to me a lot of younger men don't have that. And there really ain't no excuse for it. I tell you go out. But guys be like, you get some guys, they be like, well, it's all online. It's mostly men online, man. It's mostly men. Let's be real. And, and anything will do that. Remember they say something about Tinder. It's like the men outnumber the women nine to one. Or shit. And then let's be real. A lot of the finer ones, the dime, they ain't going to be online unless they're trying to find some way to use your ass. See, players will know that shit. You know? Players will know that shit. And yeah, you got some people meeting online, but let's be real. They ain't most people. Let's just be keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. And even then, a smart guy, he's going to use, he'll use online, but he's still going to holler at some women in the streets. All there is the conversation, got that charisma and everything. That's why you got some big men and stuff who be getting some play. I was talking about big man game because they be having that charisma. They, ain't, they don't give a fuck. They ain't scared because a lot of guys scared to talk to a woman, period, regardless of whether she's fine or not. Regardless of that shit. And yeah, I know, because I'm, I'm still out here. First of all, that's another thing. Game don't end when you reach a certain age. Game don't end shit. You be having some guys still interacting with women, got multiple women in their 60s and 70s. And nowadays, it be some young girls, too. People been talking about that a lot. Why these older guys getting with me? Because the young girls will say the younger guys don't be trying to holler. <laughs> they said that. Shit. But the game never stops. So I know a range of players. I know players ranging from late teens to uh, older. Hell, my, my sons could be on some player shit, but they really don't really want to. Well, no, the youngest one, though, he kind of is, even though he tried not to be. <laughs> oh, Lord. He's this shit, the women making him a play. But, you know, but all it is is that conversation and shit, that charisma. That's all it is. But most of them, if you take an honest look, an honest look at them, an honest look at the guys getting the pussy like crazy. A lot of guys will call them average at best. Guys, notice I say guys will call them average at best. The women, they being hit. Because, see, understand something with the woman. They looking at everything on a man. They got a list. I don't know how many times I produced a list that this woman had. She rated the man. She went clothes, looks, face. Shit, even his dick game. She even placed him someplace. That's what women do. They look at me. When they look a man up and down, they be looking at everything. Okay, you got a handsome face. They don't stop at the face. Only dorks believe that shit. They be looking at the dress. They be looking at how, how you stand and everything. How you carry yourself. Conversation. What you talking about. They be looking at all that shit. And yeah, some of it is superficial. 
it is what it is. But you just gotta understand that's the nature of women. That's the nature. That's the nature of women. But yeah. You know what? This might be one of those long ones and shit. Because I gotta stop real quick. This might be a little bit longer than usual. So, I'm gonna go in and get some vittles. Man. Brother can eat again. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Brother can eat again. Oh, oh shit. This joint closed. Oh, man. You can tell his brother ain't been up here in a while. Let me pull up in the head. I'll let you get up in here, motherfucker. Shit. Let me go in here and pull in and get some food real quick. I'll be back in a second, man. Well, it'd be about 10 minutes for me. It'd be just real quick for y'all. Yeah, yeah. I had to get some. I had to get some Peruvian chicken, man. Dude. I ain't gonna lie, man. I am never underestimating eating, just eating just some good food again. I feel bad for anybody who got to live off of a G-tube, man. Just a few months for me was enough. But that means I got to go hard with working out again. Eating, eating the regular stuff, which means I got to go hard and working out. That's all right. That's all right. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing to do but to do. Anyway, right? Yeah, man. Most players, most players ain't gonna look like no model. Now, instead of trying to argue with it, that means any motherfucker got a chance. He just gotta fix himself up, which is good. Fix himself up. You know, anybody can fix themselves up. Figure out how you can dress better. Shit, go find an image consult and get a better haircut. You still want to fix up, but you know. You still want to fix your shit up. You know, just look like you take care of yourself. Still have a good presentation. But if you don't have a bone structure or height of a so-called model, don't worry about it. Because really, I probably know more models. I've known more models. Like I said, a couple of them was on some player shit. A lot of them weren't. Shit, a lot of them didn't even like, uh, didn't even like women. And it's kind of stupid that uh, men... You get some men who don't know any better. They ain't been a part of that world. They ain't been a part. They ain't getting no pussy. So they assuming. They make an assumption. And just because on social media you see some girl fawning over a guy or even publicly don't mean she's sucking his dick. Shit. Because you think about it. You think about it. There'd be a lot of motherfuckers. There's a lot of ugly sexy players out there. But they got charisma. I'm gonna put that ugly, sexy thing in uh, the thing uh, description box. Cousin Tito, you now that dude's a master seducer. He got paid for it. Trains male exotic dancers. I'm gonna put that in there. Cause you gotta understand something. If you're talking about when you're talking about sex appeal, you know, it ain't based on just the face. It means the whole package. You can have everything in which you lack. Women actually turned on by that. If you like something, but you come with something else, they be actually turned on by that. Cause see, you gotta hit women on a total. You gotta hit women on a total level. And see, hit them on a total level, and don't really listen to these guys out here trying to say you have to look like a certain thing to get one. I mean, it don't hurt, but if genetically you're not a certain height or you don't have a certain bone structure, you can still fix up what you got. And a lot of women like that. They be like, even with some guys, some short kings, some women might say they don't want that, but he fix himself up, he gets some pussy. And then you get the big men. You get a lot of big men, you know, they just carry themselves a certain way, boom. And you know one of the things that all the players got, not just charisma, but they just got confidence. They just go and they take what they got and just go with it. They don't give a fuck. Don't be like, oh, I don't look like something. That's some female shit, man. A man, so worrying about your looks is a female shit. Now, yeah, women checking it out, but yeah, and they can reject you off of it. They can reject you off your shoes. Like that balloon pop thing that's gotten real big. Women were up there. They were up there saying the man was handsome. 
Now, whether they were lying or being honest, telling the truth, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But they were saying it. One guy, all the women said he was handsome, but all of them popped a balloon. And they was talking about the clothes, you know, his fit, haircut, how his beard was shaved. You could control all of that. And that's one thing the players, most of most of them, will at least control that much. They at least going to hit the gym and get something going on. Now, you do get some exceptions. The motherfuckers are just... They can just be considered homely, be wearing some white clothes, but still get the women. But they got charisma out the door. They got the charisma of 10 men each. Each one, each one of them got charisma. You ever see a motherfucker like that? He getting some women, you can't see it. I say, he got something. He got something, shit. You know, he might have that mouthpiece. That mouthpiece ain't no joke. But then that's powered by the charisma. You know? Or he give the woman a vibe, he can hit that shit good. Because I knew this big motherfucker, man. This big, this big dude, he got nothing but baddies and shit. Nothing but baddies. But he has some charisma like that. See, a lot of dudes need to be working on that other shit. Yeah, you can still work on your looks and all that shit. That's fine, but... Here's a, well, see, here's a problem with looks. <clears throat> Only a tiny percentage of men are going to, with their looks, are going to appeal to a great range of women. Let me say it again. Tiny percent. You're talking 1% or 1%. So the other 99.9% .9 got to do more. You might appeal to some women, but what happens when you don't? And then what if you appeal to a woman, but, you know, she don't feel like you're masculine enough? It's like, yeah, you can have that. Yeah, if you can get that, you can. It's great, but then you gotta have other shit. What if you got whack dress? What if you don't know how to really talk to that woman? What if you on some dorky shit? Seriously, what if you on some dorky shit? Women gonna be thinking about that. Shit, I met some dudes on the spectrum and shit, or what they say, neurodivergent now. Women thought they were cute, but then the dudes had trouble like interacting. You still gotta be able to interact, interact with the woman. And most of the shit you can control. Because one thing I found with the players, they just they 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 took the cards and they just played the hell out of the cards they got. You know, that's all they did. The big men, short kings, average looking dudes, whatever. All them players, they just took what they got. Like I said, they can still connect it with the women. You know, they ain't sit around complaining and crying about what they didn't have. And that's the important thing. That's the message I'm trying to give to everyone. Just work with what you got. Don't worry about it. And especially don't worry about a man. Like I said, that's some gay ass shit asking another man how you look and shit. That's some shit. I will, I will. Anybody who does that, you fucked up. Anybody who does that, you fucked up. Cause shit, you need to find out what the women say. Cause I've seen women, they'll look at somebody. You first of all, you don't know. Cause like I know some women, they will look at a guy who look dorky to everybody else, but they be like, damn, he the finest thing. And it's like an actual model said one time. He said, yeah, you can have one tooth, but the women be like, damn, that's sexy. That dude I call Rhino and Dark Jedi and shit. He, he, his whole upper, he ain't had no upper teeth. Like he be tearing up some women and shit. Women he just met. Women he just met. He was on some player shit. They had no upper teeth or something. Like, damn, how he do that? He had some charisma. Now, some dudes might feel like I'm putting them down or something. Well, if your shit ain't working, ain't working. And like I said, I go out, man. I, you know, you can try to come for me and shit, but see, I go outside. I go outside. I still interact. I'm not married. I still got. I, I still got to talk to women. That game don't end. And people try to act like some new shit. I'm a. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. 
only difference between now and what women were back in the day is women just more open with the, what they want, man. That's the only difference. Because I come from a line of players on both sides. <laughs> I come from a line of players. That was just in the family and shit. They getting there. It's all of them. All of them. It's even now. So my male cousins and stuff. Man, they, they be getting some. They got some baddies and shit. So, you know. They, they be doing their thing. So I know them. I know them. Cousins in their 30s and shit, man. You know, some motherfuckers in their 20s. And that's the one thing, man. And, you know, most of them ain't gonna be looking like no model or something like that. And different races, too. So, you know, the message is, the message is very simple. You can do it. You can do it, but you gotta, you gotta boy, look at your attitude, look at your mindset, look how you like interacting with the women. Cause I'm gonna tell you something now. If you got some issues, if you got real issues with women, they can tell even if you don't try to say anything. They can look at you and tell. They got that sixth sense because women be feeling shit. If they don't feel that comfort with you or something, nah, you in trouble. But you know what? If you want that comfort, you want that woman to feel a certain way, you can work on it. Work on your attitude and shit. It's probably a bunch of motherfuckers who ain't getting none, but they change their attitude, they'll get some. It's just that simple. Go ahead, man. Okay. Green like a motherfucker, man. Yeah. Yeah, you want that you don't want that attitude and all that shit, man. Don't get caught up. Just present your best and see who like it. And something else players do too, but I'll talk about that in another video. I'll talk, maybe I'll talk about that tomorrow. You gotta say some stuff. And people will say, oh, what are you talking about players? Well, it's like this. If you want to be a millionaire, who do you pay attention to? I'm serious. If you want to be a millionaire, who do you pay Shit, do you pay attention to a nine to five motherfucker or some dude who broke, complaining? Or an actual millionaire, and you go by what they say, like an actual millionaire. Which one? You know, which one? You go by you, yeah. You know, they ain't saying you gotta be a player and all that. Just learn what they doing and apply. You want to be like some like. Monogamous motherfucker ain't nothing wrong with that if that's what you want. If that's what you want, ain't nothing wrong with it. But you still gotta learn how to get that woman. And you know, everything I talk about is based on and just my own experience, but you know, feedback from men who actually get in the pussy. They be telling me some stuff. <laughs> you talking about decades, you no know, to this day. So you gotta think about those things just like that, all right? Anyway, yeah, this is a little bit longer than I've been doing recently. I still don't want them that long, but you know. Yeah, about to cut this off head home. Y'all need to know where I live. Some people have a general idea. Like I said, some people have an idea. Let it dogs around here. Anyway. Yeah. So I'll give you another player thing, a big thing with players tomorrow. Probably even bigger than uh probably even bigger than uh what that looks like. Even uh Alan Roger Curry, rest in peace. He had talked about this. He had talked about this was a part of mode one. You know, a lot of people don't miss, I don't know why people keep, he would say it every now and then and people kept missing that aspect of it. Nobody's talking about that aspect of it or what he had said, what he does. But it is what it is. Anyway, I 
get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.